I'm excited to announce a new segment here on 4 to 5 called Flashback Fridays. We're going to showcase some of our history here at WFMY News 2 through photos from decades ago. This week's photo is an aerial shot of our studio here in Northeast Greensboro. Our chief photographer at the time, Buddy Moore, likely in the 1960s, took this photo. And if you're from Northeast Greensboro or you have been to our area, some of this might look familiar. Okay, so obviously we've got the TV station right here. That's our big stick that we broadcast off of. This is white street right here. This is Phillips Avenue. This is uh, Highway 29 and actually that's Phillips Avenue or Phillips Avenue here. And you know what's interesting about this that's different from from what it is now. We've got a lot of trees around our building here. I mean almost surrounded in trees on by at least two or three sides. All of this is filled in back here with like a woods area. So you can see little trees budding here. Well, those are huge trees. Now the station looks pretty similar to what it did before, uh, but it's just really cool to see something like that, guys. You know, considering our station has been around for decades, uh, obviously, and so it's nice to see some of the mm -hmm. old pictures of, of where we came from. Especially that shot with the, the trees. I thought that was pretty cool because it does look like a complete forest back there. Right, a lot of trees. Yeah, in a lot that of area. trees. A lot of history too, and I'm not sure if everybody knows that's watching, but one of the oldest TV stations in the state um, really had one of the first live TV broadcasts mm. in North Carolina right here. So a lot of history and a lot of important people throughout the years have been in this building. Um, and it's just kind of cool to, you know, some of our hallways actually back here, guys, in the prop storage area, there's some black and white photos uh, sometimes on the walls that you can just kind of see and think, mm. wow, there's been a lot of stuff going on. In and, too. and the one thing I take away from this picture is just how this area has grown and the development that's taken off. I mean, there's houses and neighborhoods everywhere now, and it's just so so inter interesting to see how the city of Greensboro has grown since the 60s. Being, well, oh, <laughs> no, I was going to say being new here, um, being in Greensboro about five months now, I really look forward to seeing some of the inside photos of the station just to see how it's transformed because I'm still learning more and more about it every day. So I look forward to that. Yeah, his son MD Moore uh, just has like a treasure trove of pictures mm. that his dad took decades ago when he was the chief photographer here. Oh, okay. So I'm looking forward to sharing some of those photos because <laughs> there's some really good ones. And just I mean, it's incredible to think how long this building has been here and the yeah. stories that these walls could tell wow. if they could talk. So. For sure. Started as a radio station downtown, I believe, and then they moved out here to the outskirts at the time. <laughs> the outskirts of downtown. I love that.